pretty well. How are you? Uh, you don't sound too well. Just kind of tired, overwhelmed, but I am doing pretty good. Just like embarking, like today's the first day of the uh, Monster Lab production and stuff. Uh, and like, I'm just really nerve wracked about that and stuff. You look, uh, you look healthy today, Hunty. We're, we're going in two sleep. different directions. I said he seemed uh, bummed out, and then he said he was starting his Monster Lab production. Now you're saying he looks healthy, so mate, you could be bummed out and healthy. We got to pick that's a thread. Me, we're picking a thread. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk. All right. We are picking a thread. We're talking. Which, that's how which, this works. Which one are we talking about? I'll show you. Let's talk about uh, Monster Lab. Yeah, let's let's do uh, like thirty minutes of shop talk. Yeah, and yeah, then Justin, yeah. Get, have exactly. Justin edit all of it out <laughs> down to like two minutes. The segue to inevitably landing on Jordan Peterson. All right. Yeah. Tell us about Monster Labs, man. I got the final script locked in. It's a little over 10 minutes, like tw uh, 12 minutes, but I think that in That's terms of- That's not a little over 10 minutes. I think Finalized, so. I think huh? We never got to read it. Well, he's I, it yeah, to I me. Don't know about you, buddy. Uh, well, well, <laughs> I broke that fucking circle with you. <laughs> well, you skipped me and I'll went have straight to, I'll, to I'll send it to you after this for sure. Um, but I think a lot of it animation wise, um, I guess two minutes is a lot, is a long time in animation, but I think it was more so like, uh, just like the shots and stuff. Like, I don't feel like it's so animation heavy that it was like, that it's like that much added onto it. You know what I mean? Like it is, two minutes is a long time, but I'm hoping that in terms of like some of the talking head stuff, it equals out a little bit. It isn't super terrible to have to do. I think um, it's bound to happen for a pilot as well. Yeah. Like, uh, I think you can excuse a little longer for the pilot. You're just going to be fucked if... That two minutes happens on every episode because then now you're talking like an extra fucking 20 minutes of animation. Right. And I think that with the giving a little bit more time and kind of like setting things up in this first episode, I think that in future episodes, it's going to allow us to like first page establish what the monster is and like be with that thing this like for, you know, eight pages and then have like a nice wrap up on the 10th page or whatever so um i just want to feel like you get multiple episodes or like you can look forward to the next thing because that's kind of like inevitably it's kind of like you like almost miss with like streaming days now with like streaming stuff how it's so like you have the whole season and then it's just like you have to wait for a new season sometimes i do miss the days where it was like you watch the episode and it's super good and then like you're just like so excited to watch the next one you know what i mean yeah i mean some like uh some companies are still doing that like Choosing to do that, even though they could release it all at once, because I think it makes the the show remain in the zeitgeist for longer. <clears throat> yeah, so, like the boys is doing that, like on Amazon. Yeah, I find myself rewatching stuff a lot when, especially like if I know a new episode's coming out, I usually will watch the episode prior to it again, and then like kind of. Oh, uh, man, <clears throat> it's why? With you. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I love it. I, I I just like I like watching it. I love the story. Great. You're a real fucking like artist, artist. You're like an artisan. I like how I say kinda... I, I like I, I like I like the story. I like watching things, and somehow they're like, you really are like this oil painter of a man. You're like a <laughs> sit by the sea and paint the waves crashing into the earth. No, you're a fucking lunatic. Like, <laughs> yeah, get him done. But I, I, I don't I don't want to dwell on this because we always like come back to how. Hunter magically has time for things, and we don't. Well, I'm I'm more angling at the fact that like Hunter is. He goes with his gut. He's that kind of guy. If we're like efficient German robots, Hunter's like the, the like what, 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 Italian. What, 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 what kind of uh, what kind of hill are you trying to put yourself on with that German slide in there? <laughs> okay, if we're efficient Japanese robots, there's no. Yeah. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> and it just doesn't say, ring true the same way, does it? Uh, yeah, that, every, yeah. <laughs> if we're like ro those robots, I feel like any kind of robot has like a axis, very negative. Uh, the Italians, yeah. Italian robots. I was just gonna say Hunter's like an Italian. He, he takes naps. <laughs> yeah. You know, he, he okay. drinks. He drinks a bit of red wine. So we're the efficient German and Japanese robots doing all the work, and the <laughs> lazy <laughs> Italians over there. Right. I didn't mean to make some World War Two analogy here. That wasn't my intention. You guys put me there. Yeah, I think the Italians are gonna drop out of this whole YouTube <laughs> thing. At first. In it, Hunter's the soft underbelly of Europe. <laughs> I'm like, Ruining I'm upset everything. too. <laughs> I'm angry with you guys, I swear. <laughs> Fuck, well what I was trying to say, and it's funny because Hunter puts out way more content than us, so like, how mm -hmm. efficient are we? But what yeah. I mean is we're more clinical, and Hunter mm. is way more like, you know, I just got a feeling about this. Hunter's hand solo. There you go, how about that? I think that a big thing for me is 
I watch stuff while I work. I enjoy having that background deal and I can pop over and be like, ha, yeah, Don, if you breathe next to him while he's working, he's like, can you take that outside, please? Absolute fucking truth. I'm like having like a quiet chat with Hunter. Mm, a quiet, quiet chat. Quiet chat. I'm as, a very quiet as person. Tom does. Possible. Uh-huh. I'm like, hey, Hunter, how you doing, bro? How's it? How's it <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, excuse me. I, that's actually really nice. I wish, excuse I wish, me. I wish, I wish you talked like that. That sounds nice. I am place. researching balsa wood. <laughs> Can you keep it down? <laughs> I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm sorry. And then me and Hunter can't talk anymore and be friends Mm because Don's got a fucking stick up his ass. Mm -hmm. Literally, because of the wood shot. (laughs) (laughs) A fucking two by four. That was clever. That was. was Hunter, you're on fine form today, my friend. You've got some extra neurons bouncing around in there. (laughs) What's going on? Extra neurons? Like in my head? Did you you just like look around the room? Yeah. (laughs) I was like, where are they? Yeah, that was good. Point made, sir. Yeah, um, you are in fact retarded. No, I don't know. I think nerves are high just with the Monster Lab thing starting. And like, one thing I'm finding is like, I think I'm going to try to hire somebody to help me with like character turnarounds. Like, I can do the initial design, but it would be cool to like have somebody else do like the other poses. I think the route you're taking though is like the best one because make designing characters that's like the fun shit. Mm. Like, get get some other. Bug person to do the <laughs> to do this like drudgery work, and you do all the fun creative stuff. That's the dream. Oh, dude! Well, another thing is, uh, some some other YouTube channel. I don't know if they'd want me to say this or whatever, but they have like grunt people to do all their things for college credit. Like they were, were able to apply. That's so fucked up. Ooh, and, and, okay, and how did you hear about it? Did they get in trouble? Well, no, 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 no. He's like they're fucking passing around their slave labor. Be mm. passing around, they're like, hey man, I got a hot tip for you. If you can take adv- advantage of these fucking college kids, they'll do your work for you. Well, That's in terms of going. doing I stuff like uh, prep college work, kids, I don't think that should you pay I, them an exposure I, too. No, 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 no. I don't your fucking think that monocle in your top hat. <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna eat the rich. I think the that there's something hunter. to be learned that they could have there and they could, you know, ask about the files. They would not do anything animation related or anything that's like production heavy that you should be paid for. I think it's more so of like file management or like Wait, so like you that. say they get college credits. Mm. Uh, I don't know how the yank system works. Does that mean they can apply it towards getting their degree instead of Yeah, yeah. explain this scheme to us. Yeah, That's how can scheme? we best a very legal children and with dreams in their eyes? Thing. People, yes, you can uh do applications for schools and stuff. Like my applica- I I did that for one of my college credits, and it, it basically just counts as a class, so they can get like three credit hours, and this could oh, be that's like not so bad. No, I think if that you it's don't, actually if you don't have good. to do some fucking boring bullshit with some twat art teacher who wants right, you no, to no, paint no, no, the no, fucking let's, sand. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Mm. Does it have to be the boring bullshit? Because he actually is talking about the boring bullshit. It's kind of as boring as like pretentious. Like, is there art any teachers? reason you can't put them to work gruelingly tweening? For example, because I, <laughs> for I think, a very non-specific I think, uh, example, I think ethically it's wrong because you should be paid for that work. You know what I mean? Versus like, I think the thing about like you do the grunt work, but you also learn about shit. So like when I was in school, I would have loved to do something like this. Like the work is not fun necessarily, but to learn more about like the flash program or something or how this pipeline works would have been very informative. And I feel like that would have been something where I'm like, oh, that would have been cool to have. I mean, so I think like, it's like whether it's animation I, yeah, or I think fucking I, I breaking I think a... I could teach a college kid to do what I do, though, if they know how to draw. And Absolutely. Would that be so unethical? You can mold somebody wait, for wait. sure. Get the little trade. I, I, well, I don't see what's more unethical about getting them to do, like, work they probably enjoy more for free than fucking breaking apart flash files for free. Like, how yeah. is that more ethical or less ethical? Well, I guess another thing, too, is, like, the file breaking and all the other miscellaneous work fits more in the time frame that you have with them. Versus, like, because I'm not going to be like, hey, you get these college credits for this, but also I need you to finish this file, and then they're spending all this time on it. You know what I mean? Versus, like, the time you're acquitted with them and the time that they're like their college credits are for, it's more applicable that they do, like, a lot of just, like, the file sharing or... Yeah, I don't think so. You're not forcing them to do anything either. Like, no, but I, like I said, I think, it, I think it just comes down to something along the lines of, like, should somebody just be paid for that work? You know what I mean? No. Well, not if they don't care. And, and, and like, that's why you guys you look at this as a scam. <laughs> 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 I 
I look. We it's a well known industry fact that we pay everyone in exposure, and we've had no no complaints so far. I think it would be a fair trade. Hey, Don. Don used to do my fucking college homework. That's true. Don. Don. So we'll Don actually has one share, and a half degrees. We used to share. <laughs> I think that if, if, I think that if you guys like kept growing and doing stuff, and like you had the intern do that, and then after school, especially like with Don, the way he animates, if he if you're able to like mold somebody to be that as well, and then they could be like reoccurring work or like a salary job after school, I think that they would be like way more far ahead than so many other people. You know what I mean? Exactly. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I would feel bad if I was like, if they already knew how to tween, and I was just like, here, tween my stuff, you dumb idiot. Hey, like, what? Me. Why? Why do you people fucking well, talk about? No, I no, mean, no, no. Let me finish. Of, okay. Let me finish. Why do you people talk about these people like they have no choice in any of this? Like you're just like you're like, yeah, you have to whip. They can make a deal. They know what they're getting. They know what they have to do for what they're getting. I mean, but do they? Is that how you pitch working for Flash Kids? Come. Well, you're not gonna sit in our office for eight hours and hit Control W to tween. Don't 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 give them the recipe. Don't get don't don't give them those hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. They're not they're not under the, they're not in the building. They're not under the roof. I gotta. I wonder how much of this is uh like interesting to listen to. None of it. <laughs> Absolutely none of it. <laughs> oh, well, I thought it was interesting. Especially if people. Yeah, you know, I mean, people are probably like, oh, I would do this for college credit or whatever. But also, how many people do I yeah, trust? How many, how many that's, strangers? That's the seed I was planting. I can't. How many strangers do I trust? Not a lot. Don't know if I would want some person I've never met before. And he's like, yeah, I could do this, and then you look at it, and you're like, this is awful. This is terrible. Like, this is a complete waste of time. You know what I mean? Versus some kid who's just like, what's that, Tiny Tim or whatever, and he's just like, I, don't, I mean, I guess I could mess with the Google Drive, and it's spotless and clean, and I'm like, my God, you're a godsend. Thank you, Tiny Tim. And he's like. I mean, I'll think about animating before, and I'd be like, let me show you the way. And then he becomes even better than me. He starts his own company. What is, what is this terrible Hollywood yeah, it's production it's you're putting like together? A, it's a Cobra Kai it's a, situation. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a Christmas Carol-esque story. It's even Christmas themed, <laughs> except it's about me being the animator guy who's just like, I can help you and find your way. And then he becomes big and rich, and then I'm, in, I'm homeless and in the streets. And he's like, remember me, sir? And I'm like, I did him. I look up to him. That's how that story ends. And he grabs my hand. <laughs> I feel like this is more of a Catholic church situation. You've got like... Hunter would look genuine in a Catholic robe. He just, is... If he just shaved just a little bit. <laughs> Hunter's, de Hunter's definitely an e evangelical kind of guy. I, w I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could see him in like an old European church. He's definitely in like one of those white churches in the, Ooh, the US. The little, the smaller ones. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, it's like he, a... He's like Eli from uh, There Will Be Blood. Mm. Just like yes. grabbing people by the hair yeah, yeah, yeah. screaming in their fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Repent! Going up to oil tycoons and being like, <laughs> you're a sinner. And then the guy's like, I'm a sinner and I've left my tart. Like type deal. My boy! My boy! <laughs> <laughs> I love at the end of that movie when uh, Eli or uh, Daniel's son comes up and he's like doing the deal and Daniel's like sitting in this lavish mansion and it just looks disgusting. And he's just like, let him speak if he wants to talk to me. And his son's just like, <laughs> he's like, I'm moving, I'm moving down south, whether you like it or not. And he's just like, God, you sound so fucking stupid. It's like he's <laughs> deaf, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, Don, Don pointed out something pretty funny that I, I didn't pick up on until he said it, and it's that, like, Daniel Plainview, the main character, has a completely different way of speaking to everyone else in that fucking film. Mm. Everyone else sounds kind of normal, and then he's just like, I'm an oil man, and this is my son, and he's an oil man. He's like, mm. where are you from? I am not a psychopath. <laughs> I am totally normal. I feel like he's supposed to be this person. Oh, this guy's evil. But yeah, very, like, I feel like he's, like, putting on a show for everybody. Because he's always like fake selling stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, you but it's an a, evil show. You get a big cut of this profit, even though I'm making so much more that you have no idea about. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, uh, I think he's also supposed to sound kind of like decadent and stuff. I'm an oil man. Yeah, it's, no, I mean he's, he sounds awesome. It's just no one even sort of sounds like him though. But why? Like, like, why would you trust that guy? He doesn't yeah. <laughs> sound trustworthy. Like, if I he's think trying it's to convince of people the, uh, to take their like, shit. 
I think it's because, because I'm a city so, slicker. He sounds so boy. like decadent or whatever. He sounds like Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sounds like a like a rich, like just a rich, like well educated guy. I was uh, whatever, and he always sounds was, like he's talking down to everybody he's talking to. They're just like, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess we can let him like drill for oil. And he's just like, good choice. You're a smart <laughs> man. <laughs> very wise, very wise. Well, I, I drink your shake. I drink it up. <laughs> I drink it up. <laughs> I love that part so much. It is a great fucking film. Mm. I was I was talking to my friend about it once, and he was like, "I wonder if Daniel Day Lewis, when he's <laughs> method acting, just like ever lets it go. Mm -hmm. Like he's oh, at, he's at, at, out at like the I restaurant with his fucking wife, and he's like, I would like breadsticks. <laughs> you know, she's like, Daniel, stop. He's You're like, scaring Who's me. Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Or no, whatever his fucking name is. Right, like right. the actor's name, and he's like, who's blah blah blah? Oh yeah, Daniel. Fucking hell of a He's playing Abe Lincoln or something. You know? He's playing <laughs> Abe Lincoln, he's like, who's Daniel? I'm Abe Lincoln. Yeah. So you're tearing his family apart, Daniel. <laughs> I would love to see Daniel Day-Lewis go into like a fancy restaurant and be that character dressed in those clothes from that time as well. She's like, oh God, Daniel, please. He's just like, I'll have the fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> but make sure and put extra sauce on the side. I think I'll also take a side order of breadsticks. You're just like, the, the waiter's just like, what the fuck is going on with this guy? He's, we he's wearing like fucking clothes from the 18th century. He hasn't had a bath for two like weeks. Oil. His hair. Yeah. His ha it looks like he has product in his hair, but it's just the grease that he, in his hair that just slicked back. <laughs> I don't like people very much. <laughs> like, sir? I don't care to bathe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That's, I've always wondered about method actors. Like, what? When do they? When do they turn it off? Yeah, but he's I know so with uh, me, I think you'd get away he, with it. If you had a waitress, I think it was you would. You would suck that man's dick. Yeah, yeah. You would crawl across broken glass <laughs> just to get a whiff. I'm trying of to think. His massive I, penis. I forgot what production it was on. If it was Gangs of New York or if it was There Will Be Blood. But he worked on a fucking like on this boat, getting into character for like six months. Just doing like he didn't tell anybody who he was. He just worked on this like boat, to, like find his character and stuff. Just and beat up a... Irish people wherever he went. It's like, are you a Mick? Come here! Did you, like, ever see, did, you ever see shit. did you ever see Gangs of New York? Did you see that? What do you think that whole joke was about, Hunter? Well, I don't know. I didn't. I, yeah, I don't know. Tom's because because I, I wish you, I wish you would have tried to do his accent in that movie. Well, just I don't like remember talks, what it sounds like. Kind of talks like yeah, this, he's just, and... this whole conversation. He's just the there will be blood. Yeah, guy. in my head, he's yeah. just there will be blood guy forever. <laughs> Even as uh, Abe Lincoln, he's, like, he's just like yeah, your dad was an admirable man. I had to cut him up. That kind of deal. He sounded he sounded very much like that. In the sense of he's just like he always always like smack his lips and stuff too in his eye. He's like, <laughs> he was an admirable man. Then unfortunately, I had to fucking cut off his head. And you're just I love Leonardo that Capri, I was just film. like It's so funny. <laughs> I'm out of the loop. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Gangs of New York? No. It's fucking great. That. It's a good film. There's lots of like fun violence. Some of it looks kind of fake though. Like yeah. if I remember correctly, there's not like a lot of blood and stuff. It's all very much like a theater play. They kind of like slash at each other and nothing uh, happens. Like they fall over. Or am I misremembering? I think you're misremembering a little bit. I'm pretty. Maybe from I'm what I remember, it's, it gets pretty fucked there for a while. Yeah. Leo Leo DiCaprio. Mm. He plays the the other guy. The mm. the the rival. Irish he plays. Yeah, he plays, uh, filthy Mick. He plays the the son of the of the head of the Irish gang that Daniel Day Lewis kills, which is Liam Neeson at the beginning. Which Liam Neeson, his fucking weapon he uses is this giant like stone cross that he hits people with. <laughs> and it's fucking awesome, dude. It's so cool. How have you not seen that film? Fuck, it, did, it does sound pretty good. You got to watch yeah. it, but not on that piece of shit Chinese TV you've got uh -huh. in the living room. You need to get a real TV and, and watch uh -huh. it on that. Yeah. There's so many I, films I can't recommend you whilst you've got like well, a 30-inch yeah. TCL TV. You should probably get like a soundbar too. No, you should. I've, I've been thinking wait about Wait until you live by yourself before you do that. No, I, mean, I think the soundbar would be better in there. I oh, think it's those it tinny just... Chinese speakers that like... You know, get the Chinese done. Oh, I'm looking right. to alienate every ethnicity <laughs> group of people on this yeah, podcast. I want to, so far uh, we've given very, the Swedes, I want to clarify Irish. that I am not a part of this hate talk at all. I'm, I'm here, but I am not present. <laughs> Is oh, it? the Italians and the Axis just backing out. 
<laughs> yep, straight away. <laughs> yeah, just you said like, you were down oh. with the whole racism thing when we started this, but the, the whole knows. fascism thing yeah. was your idea, Hunter. <laughs> it was. <laughs> You're like this. Hey, this new form of government's the fucking best. Our trains <laughs> arrive precisely on time, All right. and we're like, hey, that's pretty cool. Just I like then. trains. The leap. Justin. 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 Help. Help, Justin. <laughs> um, I, you know, you I, said earlier you liked Silicon Valley, and I'm not. I'm not a fan. In it. Hunter drinks fucking soy lattes for breakfast. I actually haven't given the show a fair chance, but uh, when I was in high school, maybe I just started college, I went to a party with my brother, and there was this drunk guy there, and he said I looked like the main, like, bitch boy in oh, <laughs> Silicon Valley. I, and I, I, and I, I, love, I, love, I love that actor, though. Tom, I forgot, I always forget his last name. It's like Tom Mulbini or something like that. I Thomas is Thomas Middleditch, and this Middleditch. guy, he's like, he's drunk off his balls, and he's he's like a foot shorter than me, and he's like looking up, and he's like, it's just blowing my mind, man. It's crazy. And then he like pulls out his phone and shows another drunk chick, and then she like agrees. You know, so weird. Did you, I, I, did you I do not see that at all. Cave his head in. <laughs> I don't see that at all. Also, you're like six eight. You, like the guy that is the guy that was talking to you. Like I bet. Holy I, I bet, shit! I bet the actor looks way ditch. more like him. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I don't think he looks yeah. that much like him. Whoa! No, I can't, I kinda, you don't have to, you gotta look at this! This I is kind crazy! Of, I kind of look like him. This you look of. just- Dude, I see you everywhere. Yeah. There was this cooking show, I saw you on there. <laughs> There's this, I saw you here. I saw some fucking show where some guy's life was collapsing. That was you as well. And there you were know, like that, that doesn't clones <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that doesn't even offend me that much. That it look like-, like I th He has a more symmetrical face than me. And a, a real jaw, too. Yeah, yeah. So he's that was, Hollywood that was, that it's on. the way he talks. It's the way he talks in Silicon Valley. Well, in the he's, show, he's yeah, he talks. Oh, no, he's not like, like that, Tom. Like he's not like that at all. And I, th that wasn't being recognized. Much, and that's what like offended me. He, he talks a lot, like a lot of the, uh, like a lot of just like the uber smart people that like you don't joke with in high school or something like that. Like they talk very fast, and he's just like, um, you know, whenever I. Uh, you know, the process we do, the, like, just kind of very fast and, uh... No, he talks, in the show, he talks like you talk when you you're pretending... Are you saying he talks like Ben Shapiro? When you're pretending to be five, that's what his voice sounds like. Yeah, I, I, I just talk like this, and I'm very, I'm a, I'm a wet blanket character. Just like Don. Oh, uh, well, uh, I, love, I, <laughs> I love... I love... Show your I tummy, love. Don, roll over and show your tummy. <laughs> that character's so funny. <laughs> that show is so good, I love it. He's a very. I never get. I never gave it a fair chance because of that experience. Two great writers. Mike Judge made it, and then Alec Berg is one of the uh, main writers on it. Who He's cares, awesome. Hunter? We're bullying Don, which is <clears throat> way more fun. Thomas Middleditch is really funny too. He was in a couple um, college humor things back in the day. Before oh yeah, the uh, slap chop one back in the day. That's a great one. Remember that one? Dude, from it back is. In the day? I, I'm I'm kindred with that guy right now <laughs> at the party. <laughs> Probably probably about the same height as him too, and I'm just I'm yeah, just he's looking, a tall guy. I'm just looking up. Oh wait, well middle ditch. Tall. I believe so. Yeah, I but doubt it. It's just it's just the uh, it's just the voice thing that got me. I was like, who's that? That isn't the like bitch guy, is it? And I was like, damn it, it's the bitch guy. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think? It, why why would you focus on the voice though? I doubt that's where that guy was coming. That's the from. most offensive part of the character. Yeah, but that's because not that's, what that's, he was that's Don's to. biggest insecurity is his own voice. What do you mean? Why his voice? That's because right. he was probably like his voice is better than mine, but it's still bad. <laughs> <Time deal. laughs> He's like, this is all very upsetting to me. And he just like breaks the fucking roof off the ceiling. He's standing in and like walks across. <laughs> <the> <laughs> like he just walks out of it, one leg over the wall. <laughs> yeah, the one wall. <laughs> it's the guy from the Silicon Valley deal. He's like running oh, away. The helicopters is. are shining on him. He's like fucking shining <laughs> along the street. Stop looking at me! Wait, wait, wait! Stop looking at me! <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news tonight with Thomas Middleditch ripped <laughs> roof off some kid's house and he's walking through the neighborhood. Tom, and Thomas Middleditch <laughs> is advancing on Washington, D.C. <laughs> stop looking! No, stop looking! <laughs> Fucking police rolling up. To put, put it over my head like an umbrella, like trying to hide you my face. You climb the Empire State Building and swat <laughs> with the, the roof. planes. <laughs> I was gonna say it turns, like a, like it turns into a, uh, I was gonna say it turns into like a Cloverfield situation where there's like, a guy with like, his camera out and he keeps like walking into like the, the smoke and shadows and stuff. I'm like, did you see that? Did you see that? He's like, 
<laughs> no, it's got to be the third act reveal. You finally see the monster. And, and you're like, that's it. And then it's just Thomas That's, that's the fucking monster. It's not Thomas Middleditch. It's done. Uh, well, oh my I god, mean, it's not the same actor, Thomas Middleditch. Uh, it's the it's the Texas woodworker himself. <laughs> like you like have your like leather like you know how like barbers now have the apron now that's like way yeah, too yeah, fucking yeah. nice for barbers. I feel like you would have one of those on like for your workshop deal, and you just have like gloves on and shit, and you're like fucking peeking up <laughs> through the clouds. Where would you Where would you go? Where'd be the first place you went? I'd go. You'd go to the California like redwood forests. <laughs> that's where you'd go, where the trees are tall enough to, yeah, to hide you, and you can be yeah. surrounded by your passion of wood. There's coverage, yeah. And then I'd make something out of the roof. I'd make like a a coat tree. A what? A coat tree. Fuck I like to think. Oh, like a, a coat like a tree. Yeah. I like you need big long the... beams to make a tall guy coat tree. You know. He's in the redwood forest, and he's standing there, and hel helicopters are trying to find him. <laughs> and like you see all the trees, and then you, it's like so obvious that it's him standing. He's like much taller than the other trees. And he's just standing still. <laughs> and like the helicopter's like, we lost sight of him, and he's just like, <laughs> just eyes closed, face eyes down, closed, hands his down, eyes. looking. Yeah. Ah, oh, poor Don. <laughs> How tall actually is Thomas Middle Ditch? I'll find out for you. I'll be the Jamie of this podcast. Okay. Five eleven. I bet. Yeah, I better be tall. I told you. Him. I was That's like, right. five eleven. Is that it? I thought he was like you. I thought he was like six five. Well, he's all no, stretched no, out. No, no, no. He's got the stretched out look, but not the. the yeah, you got advantage. double curse, didn't you? No, no. You've got the slender only, man physique and your six five. I got one curse. Oh, you got the double curse. You've got short. you're like double stretch. You actually, you know how like with with weather with heat. I'm it's, stretched it's like, but oh, tall. It's ninety he's, degrees, but it feels like a hundred degrees. Stretched, but that's not you. Tall. You're like six five, but you look like eight foot. Well, that's okay. And you wear skinny jeans, so yeah. you look like twelve foot. I can't. Skinny I can't jeans are very in style, though, Tom. I feel like it's not, it's not even about the style. It like it hugs you. Like I still remember we the first time I tried this. them. We already talked about. Well, I'm re jeans. I'm reiterating it because right, Ty ahead. Hunter made it about him, and now it's about me. <laughs> <laughs> I made it about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, the, the, it's just this nice uh, hug feeling. You've got, you know, like a little gnome hugging your leg. No, the the real the real magic of skinny jeans is they help you achieve that upside down Dorito physique. Upside down burrito. Dorito. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to make the symmetrical burrito shape make sense. You may like, look like a burrito. Yeah. Well, I thought that's where you were going. It was just like a really weird. Just like a really weird insult. <laughs> Don, you, you, you were on for the ride, though, out, bro. Mm -hmm. You're like, all right, if I have burrito, it work. Oh, that's fine. fine. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I don't care. It's I, coming uh, from a hip to shoulder ratio. That's what he's coming. <laughs> What has come to? Don, are you, uh... Are you still messing with 3D? <laughs> no, I haven't touched it in a minute, um... I've been I was, to, I was thinking about downloading... As you know, Windows by the 9. wood thing, so... Yeah, you've you've taken on, like, three new, like, hobbies all at one time. You got, like, woodworking, and you got, uh, the fucking 3D, 3D thing, and there was something else I can't remember, but, like, yeah, you... you how are you choosing between your new children? Well, I'm not. Uh, I kind of let the 3D thing go. I want to. I want to look at it again, though. It was pretty fun. It was Why'd way, you let it go? way easier than I thought it would be. Because this fucking really? woodworking thing. Th I think the woodworking thing is actually making me more sad than happy. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> well, first of all, I come on here and I just get made fun of for it. And that really, that really bums me fair. out, guys. You about all and then when we making. get off, I'm like, man, they made fun of me for my woodworking. Now I'm going to feel self-conscious about it later when I go woodwork. That's so not <laughs> No, no, the, the, tru the, the truth is, the truth is, you want to make, with, with us. <laughs> you want to make something, and you set out to make it, and then you think, like, or something goes wrong, and then you, well, I could fix this if I did this, or wouldn't it be cool if I did this, and then, like, doing that becomes this whole other, like, gigantic puzzle. So, mm. what I'm on right now, I don't know this is going to be interesting at all, but I'm trying to make a shoe bench, right? And the original dimensions I had for it were long enough for all our shoes, for our whole family in here. Too many shoes. Because we have too many. But then I went and measured, and my original designs were way too fucking big for our entry hall. So then I shrunk it, but then it made the shelves look gay because they were like <laughs> all like compressed, like little kindergarten cubbies. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, well the only the, the solution is to bisect the shelf and have an intermediate shelf. Right, but I didn't just want to have like a little wooden shelf across because that would look lame. So now I've been, uh, I don't know, it just becomes a rabbit hole because now I want to do like metal shelves, but that's like impossible because you have to buy like a welding machine and find the metal. And it also have has to not look before? like new metal. 
No, I haven't done it before. Well, this, this whole adventure was so you could be more manly. That would be the manliest. Well, manly. but that's. And I mean, that's. I think that's how it happens because the. the Everything demands the next thing, and then you have to buy more tools and learn more and more. I and told more. you this would happen, though, when you started. You did, and I've learned a lot, but I, I'm been tired of spending money on it. I guess, dude. If we <laughs> effectively bullied you out of woodworking, no, that I'm would be an accolade well, on my belt. That's never. Gonna I would happen. wear proudly forever. That is never going to happen. You Ever. just like laid out that it's already happening. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm going to finish that stuff, and I'm going to keep going. I, I hope you but, do. It's it, for many more. But laughs it it to does. Come. It does like really bum me out because you have your day off. And you're like, I'm going to do this today, and then yeah. like you hit these pitfalls, and then it's just like over, and you have to wait a week to finish. And then your it. fucking girlfriend like intrudes on your alone time and has That's you making right. Halloween decorations instead of the bench that well, you no, so I'm, desperately I'm, wanted to make. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, I'm enjoying that though. Like that's that's what my project was last oh, week. Oh yeah, so I funny, bet. Hunter. I'm enjoying it, Hunter. I like Halloween. <laughs> I love Halloween too. I, but not like, because she if likes I, it. If my I wife, like it. and that's right, wife, Mary. Congrats, thanks for way. thanks for asking, dicks. Asking about this. Hey, about you know what? We we talked about. Uh, you, well, we. Hey, how about this? We attempted to talk to you about this in private, uh, and then some of us had messages that just went unanswered. Uh, hey, let's not get off of the so, part where the hunter was about to go in on these Halloween decorations. Right, well, I was going to say if my if my wife was ever like, oh, you know, it, it becomes a thing because you've been dating uh, your girlfriend for a long time, like five years, right? Uh, four and a half. Yeah. There comes a point where even when you both mutually like doing something you just <laughs> resent it <laughs> because it's just like a slight power trip of them being like oh you want to make some you want to make some makeshift pumpkins and we can hang it out and then you're just like while in, in the back of your mind you're like yeah like I, that does sound good but you're just like nah i'm busy <laughs> 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 and I, you're like, oh, I thought you'd been to enjoy. It. Yeah, let's see what I can do. <laughs> that's how I. That's how I see a lot you of gotta, those things. You got to lay out some boundaries. But you're right. You got to say no when you really mean yes. You have to. Yeah, yeah. you have to say no. Otherwise, everything mm -hmm. starts blending and melding into like their mm, thing too. It gets all messy. Well, this this whole venture was really so you could be meditative because you know you're yeah. you're an introvert like me. You want you need time alone to recharge. Yes, right. But that's being siphoned for couples time. And that's hmm. what women do. They well, worm no, their I'm way a, into your, I mean, to your I'm fun make, time. I'm making it alone, it. and I'm happy that I'm making it. So I'm making like a like ramshackle picket fence to go like in front of the house. <laughs> and I found fun. a place near a house. It's like a pallet yard. So they they sell they sold like shitty old boards for like fifty cents, and that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, I did it, enjoy it, that. It'll like, be I went and picked out. It, the it'll be a ones. good time. I it'll actually <laughs> I fucked this family because I pulled up and they were like, "Yeah, we want to make a nice like pal pallet board headboard <laughs> for our kids because they saw it on Etsy and they thought it was cool." And we'll be back in twenty minutes to get the boards. And then they Fucking left, Mickey and then I, I, I totally <laughs> took <It's> like, <laughs> I took like all the best ones, like all the best ones. And I left right as they were getting back, and that really highlighted my day. That that just enriched the rest right. of the experience. Explain this to me. What so they're trying to make like a nice, like rustic pallet board headboard. I I got away with the crime, completely clean, because they were pulling in as I left. So I can only imagine the disappointment when they got to the you know pile. <laughs> I can only imagine. I, I can I can only imagine. imagine the I'm gonna sweet take this release. wood home and beat it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it in half. I came. It's kind of like it's like it's like listening to like a serial killer's like uh, like when he writes down his thoughts or whatever in his journal that the police find. It's just like you know I cut off a woman today in traffic and I got hard. <laughs> <laughs> the sexual thrill of it all was too much to bear. You you take your little victories where you can get them. You're oh, crushing absolutely. a family's dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck, them, fuck them and their stupid Etsy project though. Like I'd be like, yeah, I, I'm buying all of it. Excuse and now, me, we have some every of that? time, no. every time, <laughs> you can't you, every time I look at that fence, I can imagine what it might have been in someone else's house, but isn't. And instead, it's like my disgusting Halloween project that's gonna rot in the garage. In it, you're you know? gonna trot it out. Like, oh yeah, once and a I, year. I took all these beautiful boards and like cut them in half and gave them like shitty little like picket points. You know, like I destroyed mm. it. But do you think yeah, that? Uh, are you, so are you, are you guys just trying to? Are you just trying to like spook up the house a little bit, or do you still expect to do any kind of like trick or treating? Well, we, my or dad, get, or get or get trick or treaters, I should say. Growing up, my dad um, always did like this giant elaborate thing for Halloween in our like on our street. Like he would make like yeah. a mini haunted trail for trick or treaters, and he would dress up oh, as like Frankenstein cool. and like share that. Mm. He even one year he even built like a uh, this awesome like. 
pulley ghost thing. So there was yeah. like a ghost on a pulley and he would reset it between groups of kids and then he would release it and it would fly like 50 feet and like swoop right over them. And it was amazing. And then it would just like disappear Not in a tree. Bad. So he did like this whole like crazy thing every year. So I kind of wanted to like, now that we're out of Maryland, like here, sort of well, do you like want to a, take your dad's mantle? Well, I want to do a small version of that because I always thought it was awesome. Yeah, now I can do one I think more it's fun. Stuff I, I, and, I, yeah. I think that October and Halloween is by far like probably my favorite holiday. Like in oh, terms of how like, are you gonna do Christmas like that, man? You know, I enjoy I enjoy Christmas. Uh, whenever you have like the snow and like the actual like atmosphere is there, but like it's just like one day and it's good. And then usually you have to go to family's house, but Halloween is kind of like I feel like it's the whole month of October. You get to be weird. It's like a you could fucking uh, I don't know. It's an excuse to just watch an obscure amount of horror films. Not that you can't do that, but I feel like now you're just like it almost I feels like it. an it's obligation. Theming. I will say I fucking what I love I love about um Americans even though I find it kind of corny and like funny is like how much you guys actually give a shit and care about things mm. like Halloween or Christmas or whatever like you guys don't fuck around you go in like houses have decorations coming out of every fucking corner and like oh, yeah. you really give a shit and I love that like I feel like <clears> that's <throat> I don't know about the rest of Europe but that's certainly not the way in England this cul-de-sac might actually give too much of a shit though because we, Lexi was talking to the neighbor the other day, and they said that every year they do like a, like, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen because of COVID, but usually instead of doing trick-or-treating, they do like a stupid, like, like block party thing, and then the kids just come like take candy from a single pot in the middle of the cul-de-sac, which is totally That's lame. chaos! It's chaos! That's absolute chaos! It's well, chaos, it's boring and it's too. lame, and it's not trick-or-treating, and it's yeah. gay. The, but what's going to happen a... is, like, we already have a tenuous relationship with these people, and we're going to, like, set up this giant, hideous, elaborate thing in our yard, and they're going to try to have their, like, nice, you know... Yeah, no kids them. are coming into my Good. fucking house. Uh, well, no, they don't come in the house. Obviously. What do you mean? No, no, no. You just, like, you, lay you, out a table? I think, like I, a I, 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 I think with, like... You, I feel like you could still do, like, a COVID kind of, like trick-or-treat thing by putting like a bowl out that people can go up to and take out of or something and then you can just like fill it up you don't have to like hand them the candy anymore you know what i mean yeah. but you could still make it kind of like a spooky thing to get up to or something you know what i mean well like, yeah that's that was, the like, idea the but i think we're gonna like, be the, the best black thing sheep. of like the best thing about like in my town there were, like so many people made it to where they would make a path in their house that you had to walk through and it inevitably led to their garage which is where but it was like a little haunted house thing in so the like house. that was like a lot in our town. What we like a lot of families. How many did children that. went like, missing in your yeah fucking in the house? Like my dad, like, nah, my man. dad's well, done the was, garage, but the house has always been kind of like a step too far. <laughs> it, <laughs> even, it was, it was like twenty because, years yeah. ago. Well, the thing is, is like they covered the like usually cover the walls and like well, this makes it sound horrible, but like trap <laughs> like trash bags and stuff. So it's like they block certain sections of your house, so it's like very easy to navigate through. But like you know, people just like hiding in the yards, and it's usually like your friend's family as well. So like. You know their house, but it's, like, creepy because it's, like, you know, they have, like, the crazy music and, like, strobe lights and fog machines and all that stuff. Exactly. I remember this was one yeah. guy that had this amazing, he used to do this, like, pirate theme thing, which I was always like, oh, it's so lame. But then when you would get there, it was, like, so sick. And he had this giant, like, cannon, like, fog cannonball shooter. So when he would walk up, he'd be like, dodge the cannonballs! And he'd, like, shoot these, like, <laughs> fog cannonballs at you. And you're like, oh, oh! And he's like, here's your Twix. And you're like, yeah! <laughs> it's like, it's and it was really fun. That's what I'm talking about. You guys go to such fucking lengths to make life fun. Man, that's awesome. Well, the thing is, is when you're younger, it's awesome because sugar. when you're younger, you get the candy and you get to dress up and stuff. And then when you're older, you get to be drunk and scare kids, and it's like perfectly acceptable. <laughs> so it's like, exactly, perfect. Yeah. It's a win-win win relationship. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so funny. There's so many since I've got here. There's so many like kitschy American traditions I didn't know existed and I love it. Like, the, we were fucking eating breakfast the other day and, like, all we hear is this parade of fucking horns and I'm like, what is going on? Like, is some, something bad happen? Oh, but no, it's some, like, kid's fucking sixth birthday party or twelfth birthday and she's just standing on the lawn as, like, a parade of fucking convertibles drives in this little circle throwing candy <laughs> at her, beeping, yeah, okay. and people That's have, funny. like, signs like, what? <laughs> You're fucking 12! Yes! Yes! And I'm just like, what is this? What is happening? That's that that's that American ingenuity. Fixing up COVID, <laughs> giving a 12-year-old a nice party. She was just being pelted with Reese's cups. That's awesome. She's just people crying like beef. on the ground. Ah! <laughs> the mom will let her go inside. This is the they most came, delicious they came for this. They came for this. Cindy, stay out there. 
Yeah, exactly. She's like, I, I, I'm brutal. She's like bleeding. <laughs> I don't want it. She's like, they came all the way from Chicago. Would you get your ass back out there? <laughs> well, I think I think there's like a like a Facebook group for the neighborhood, and they do the old person thing. Even like, that dude, very American. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no fucking village in the whole of England has a Facebook group for it. <laughs> it's no kinda, one wants that yeah, much doesn't, like doesn't contact even sound, with their neighbors. It sounds like a contradiction. Like English village Facebook group, it just doesn't. They don't even have the internet yeah, yet. Like that isn't real. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Americans just. Uh, you have a joy for life that has been uninterrupted by like losing wars on your own soil. <laughs> and maybe once you've had a few of those experiences, you'll stop. You'll stop being yeah. so boisterous. Yeah. After we, after there's a couple wars and stuff, people were just like, I don't know. Halloween just seems so. <laughs> <sighs> it all just seems so. I mean, why? What's the point of it? It is. I wonder, sweet, if, though, I wonder I if that's like what it. it was like in. Uh, I wonder if that's what it's like in Hawaii. Then, if in Hawaii. Where uh, Pearl Harbor? Pearl Harbor. If they're just like, ah, it's just that. Ah, which <laughs> all the <laughs> skeletons and the skulls. It's, it's too soon. All the bodies still floating <clears throat> out in the ocean from. <laughs> the <attack. laughs> we went. Uh, we went there last summer, and I did the Pearl Harbor. Like they have like a ferry tour where they like take you out over the like no, sunken, yeah. went. The sunken ships and stuff. <laughs> oh, you, you meant ferry. Would you, Did oh, you go down ferry. to the ship? What, what do you think of talk, a ferry tour? Yeah, with the little. I didn't know. I thought some American colloquialism. Uh, let's let's walk through what you imagined <laughs> that was <laughs> a, a mythical ferry tour at Pearl Harbor. What does that look like, yeah. Tom? Well, here's here's the thing. You guys have slang like everywhere, okay, okay. and I yeah. thought maybe there's like the GIs used to be called ferries or something. It's very it's very fun. We're the having Navy, a fun the Navy laugh. men. Yeah, it was like the you airmen. know there's inter inter like. Army rivalries. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You call each other names. So, okay. you know, your family's very army based and they're the Navy and you call them fairies. Okay. So, who's the fairies? The Navy or the Army? You're the fairy. Oh, okay. It's... The I'm civilians. Just... I'm sure they have the civilians. The civilian of the fairies. When you That's went, right. so, so you did the, you did the, the, uh, fairy tour, but did you also do the, uh, did you go, did you do, cause that isn't one of them, like, you can actually go down into the like ocean and see the boat or whatever. Oh, we didn't get to. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, they have they have it, the memorial itself. There's like the Arizona, I think, memorial that's yeah. over the boat. And ordinarily, the ferry mm. takes you to the memorial, and then you get off on it, and then it's like right okay. above the boat, and you can look down at right. the decks. Um, mm. But the guy, the tour guide. Was like this really old Japanese guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ooh. okay. So ah. let me set the stage. Everyone on the ferry is like, there's like a bunch of veterans and old people, and then there's us, right? Because it's like a Tuesday. Did you spit at him? Well, he. This is for America. He like, He's like all right, you know that was uh, seventy way years he, ago. He, but okay. he had a thick. He he kind of had like. A sort of Japanese, like he grew up in Hawaii, but his parents were Japanese, and I, I think yeah, they like yeah. immigrated there. And he was like six, and he the reason they had him is because he was alive during the attack, and he was like right. five or something, and he like saw the attack, so he he oh, like wow. sat on a hillside and saw like all the dog fights and all that shit. He was and probably he was, in on it, and, and he, he didn't went, help. <laughs> exactly. He was he was the signaler. Exactly. He had the lights, those like airport lights. <laughs> Just a five year old kid. <laughs> yeah, he was like, see the Americans. Ha ha ha. I know, uh, but he like he fucking. The the problem was he was coming at it from like the completely tone deaf perspective of a six year old that thinks war is cool and thought it was oh, awesome. Oh, it was awesome! Yeah, and that's what he kept saying. He was like, "Man, that was really something." <laughs> <laughs> when, when I they, saw when those they American, saw American ships, that was the ocean. really something. I totally, wow. I totally think to be fair, enough time has passed to where you can be like, "Okay, look back on that memory never forget and be like, what happened to that." Huh? You can you be like. You can look back on it and be like, it was incredible because of like what was happening. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I've no, I've I've heard some people in nine eleven say like they have that deal, like people that have like footage of it that were there and they're just like it was like insane. It was incredible. It was like this like thing that you would never, like the sheer like what you're a part of 
at the, yeah, but at they the probably aren't so saying horrifying. it's fucking badass, are they? Which is what it sounds like. Which this is guy more was or less saying. what this guy and he's it's like, like fucking badass, dude. He's kind of it, it. didn't work. It worked against him that he was so old because I think it and made so it, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> he's so Japanese and he's so old that it kind of broke his English and made him sound like he was speaking broken English <laughs> as a Japanese guy, like basically like just in wonderment describing this thing to all these veterans, and there was just so much tension on the boat. Was it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making sillies and having fun, but yeah, it was actually yeah, the, like uh, people there were like, wow, this is, this is wrong. I don't think yeah, it's, uh, even, even I my think mom was pissed. Cool. Your mom was pissed. Oh my God, she was pissed. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? Well, th th what fight. was that fucking nip doing on the boat? <laughs> Talking Justin. about our brave soldiers. <laughs> Justin! <laughs> well, wait, I want to say thing. that I think it's cool that they had... So I like, mean, it, it was cool hearing Japanese from that guy, like a guy that was actually okay, there. Okay, save your Hollywood. Yeah. But you, you ahead. get on the boat after watching like this forty-five minute like <laughs> documentary presentation that's like super <laughs> solemn and like makes everyone kind of like tear up and cry, and it really just makes you hate Both the these. Japanese, nice and good. For 45 minutes, and then you get out of this thing <laughs> and get on the boat, and this is a Japanese guy. Justin, <laughs> save us. Don't do a thing, Justin. The world needs to hear. God. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> uh, wait, so uh, did he, did the, was a Japanese guy, did he get put in a camp at all? Uh, no, no, and he definitely would have gone into that, I guess, if he did, so. I don't think they did I'm much. Surpri I'm surprised, because yeah. I thought that everybody uh, on the island that was Japanese was put into the camp unless they were enlisted into the war. I don't remember him going into that, I'm not sure. And then, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Hawaii got attacked, and there's, mm. the, there's a whole, whole lot of, just because of proximity, like, Japanese people living in Hawaii, so. I mean, that yeah. would have made a lot of logical sense, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because I was gonna say like I know that like because then it became a whole thing about like every, all the locals being like, oh my god, these Japanese people knew exactly what was happening, and they're just like, I had no idea. <laughs> they're just like, put, we gotta put them in camps or so, like prison them up. Which I mean, it's it, it probably wasn't as intense as like a Holocaust camp or something, but still like being in prison. It's 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 a very interesting piece of uh, American history that I always loved learning about it gets glossed over a lot to their credit oh, yeah. i think they well did i mean i feel like with every the... country when there are, when there's something bad and they're like eh, that was probably not a good <laughs> that probably wasn't a good thing cuz like even like in american history and stuff you really don't hear too much about slavery i mean you hear about like harriet tubman stuff but it never goes into like you know slavery and stuff it's just like and the civil war the north and the south fighting Slavery in their territories, and you're like, and you're like, yeah. what was that one part? They were fighting for slavery. Actually, and also for other stuff. Let's uh, let's clamp down on that for a second, because where I went to school, I feel like they really went into slavery. But where you went into school in Missouri, did they kind of like brush over oh, all absolutely. the like? Absolutely, and I could totally, and I could totally see it because in that time too, Missouri was a part of the South and stuff right. as well. So, so I, I I can totally see, and I mean like, yeah, you know, and they had like certain things, and then like you know, you had this like history teacher that's not even really doesn't even give a fuck about history he's just like a wrestling coach and they're just like we have to have him do something here at the school and he's just like slavery was wrong let's talk about gettysburg and you just like blow over all of the fucking all of this like civil war in the whole area and you're just like okay and you like don't get any real like perspective on because yeah we didn't really learn much about it if anything i remember because i was like so interested in uh that time when i became very I became very interested in uh, PO, POW camps because my grandpa was uh, a Vietnam veteran and stuff, and he used to always like show me all these books and stuff. And there was this fucking crazy Civil War POW camp called Andersonville. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but um, mm -mm. it's insane. It was this. Uh, so it's like uh, Northerners were held captive in this camp, and they like there was like a river that went through that was like also their like toilet and shit. So they were drinking like shit and piss water, and it was like. Pretty gruesome, but I remember I was like, oh, fuck. And in that book, they kind of talked about slaves being introduced to it as well. And I remember asking my one of my teachers at school and just being like, because he's like, it literally was like that. He's just like, it was part of slavery. And that's what they were, and it was like a deal. And he's like, and it was wrong. And he's like, well, let's talk about Gettysburg. And I was like, what about the slaves? And he was like, <laughs> he was like, stop it. He's like, that's racist. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? 
There was You're a, being racist, I'm, son. Stop it. There was there was these two brothers that were that were a year above me. Um, and I remember in this World War II section of this class, their dads had told them that the Holocaust was made up, and like they were <clears> nice. like, and nice. it was like this really, f- and they're like, my, they're like, our dad said that the Holocaust was made up and stuff, and we, oh, it was wow. coach, <laughs> it was a uh, coach <laughs> was his name, and he was like oh. this fucking like seven foot tall like, uh, the seven foot tall uh, basketball coach or whatever, and he was like, you know what? Have your dad coming tomorrow. I want to talk to him. And the dad like came in outside the hall like right before they went to class, and you heard like Coach being like, "If you ever tell your fucking kids," and like like just like getting into him, and the dad's like, "Whatever, pussy. You're not gonna do it." <laughs> and we're all just like we're all just like sitting in the class like, like, okay. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, pussy. Well, yeah, I mean, he showed up, so he's got to be that kind of guy. You know? Whatever, oh, lips yeah. hard. <laughs> and then, like, the other people came in, and they're just like, yeah, these, this guy's saying that the Holocaust didn't happen. And I remember one of the other teachers was like, are you fucking retarded? <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and then, like, the two kids, like, his two sons were just, like, just sitting in the fucking classroom, just with, like, their head in their hands, and they're just like, oh, God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah. Wow, you had a different school experience to me, man. <laughs> Mine was all very <clears throat> quaint compared to that. Yeah. It's, it's like one thing out of the however many, you know, four years of high school or whatever, but I don't know, it was just int- it was just interesting cuz I don't think like in the moment you don't really realize how fucked up all of that is until like later, you know what I mean? So like looking all back now, it's crazy to think that like people in my town, which I mean, it's not that crazy to think about where I grew up, but people were like there was a man and probably had friends that were just like, yeah, fucking Holocaust made up is the Jews and all this thing. Like, it's like just like this racist bullshit. And you're like, oh, fuck. I had a, uh, our teacher in high school that said the gamer word. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, he, was he playing PUBG? <laughs> 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 what, what was the context? Why did well, he say okay, it? Okay, so first of all, I went to a high school that was like 50% black. Which translates to this class being fifty percent black, right? Was his teacher black as well? He was not. No. Oh, that's great. That's the, so, that's, the, that's what that's the mix you want. So, <laughs> you got like, ingredients so, for a good fucking so there stew was, right here. There was a couple students arguing about something, and they were both black. And he intervened, and then yes. like, oh no! So there was the interv- <laughs> I can't even really remember the details, but he intervened in that, and it was something completely not to do with racism because it was two black students. And then it translated to us, like, all, like, having to sit and, like, listen. And he just, like, goes on this, like, like high horse kind of, like, y- you know, like, I'm going to learn you kids. I'm going to be a mentor real quick. And, like, I, I, and that's yeah, the like, Robin, it, Robin, I know, Robin, no, and somehow Robin, this, Robin Williams, Dead Poet Society. Exactly. <laughs> exa- that exact kind of vibe. Exactly. But I, like. Stands up on a f- table. Shit. This just did not apply to me, so my eyes glazed over, and I really did not like pay attention to any of it. But somehow, he pivoted this intervention between these two black students that were arguing to like getting into the topic of like race <laughs> and literally like how it isn't okay to say the gamer word and why is that? <laughs> why is it? that? And he kept, like, and he and he kept saying. <laughs> Oh, so he, was he, like, how he did was you like, get you onto this? And like, so he kept he was saying, like, "It doesn't were... matter who you are. You shouldn't say." No, 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 no. He said, Justin "No." It... Beeps every time Hunter the... says the gamer word because he says <laughs> I didn't it a lot. Say it. He did, but it's pretty it, so it's okay. No, but he said it. <laughs> and he said it, and he was like, "Oh, that's a bad like, but that's a bad word. Why can't we say that?" And then he like said it again and again. And like, the, I remember there was this other this black this black kid I knew. That was like it, it was like he was being hit or like physically hurt by it, like hit over the head by it. And he was like, "Just stop saying it, just stop." <laughs> and every time he said it, he'd like, "Oh, he's like kind of oh, he like flinched." Uh-huh. He's like, "Just stop it." <laughs> and yeah, the the next day that what what kind of clown fucking school did you people go to? <laughs> so so that 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 was kind of that dragged till the end of class, and the bell rang, and then the next day that teacher was not at school. He was no, oh, he was, <laughs> he, was he, he no, he, he wasn't fired. He he wasn't fired. He was just taking the day off, quote unquote. And oh his, wow! Uh, assistant was taken over for. I think the he day. might maybe have had that coming. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> that and sounds kind of justified. You know what, uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, you know what's funny is he probably did go home. He, I bet you anything he did fucking watch Dead Poet Society when he got home and he was like getting a shoulder massage from his wife and he's just like, I feel like I did a lot of good today. You know what I mean? Like he's God like hyping himself it. up. The school board doesn't understand. <laughs> we did some good today. He's watching that one with Julia Robertson. But the thing, like what was so weird about it is I wasn't paying attention and this was not that kind of guy. Like he's a totally liberal like art teacher. But he just had a problem with different generation. He dudes. had a problem with why he can't say the gamer word, <laughs> and he was black trying. Kids. He was trying to instill that like philosophy. Yeah, he, problem with black kids saying that. Dumb. Yeah, you said white kids. You, you 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 made you made it sound like he's just like he had a problem with white kids saying the gamer <laughs> word. What's wrong with no so no 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 no? He he had a problem with why you can't say it. Why it's loaded. Why no one's allowed to say it except for black people. <laughs> wait, so wait. Is, I'm, now I'm lost. Are you saying he was saying the Yeah, I was going to say, this all seems very reasonable. One, no, no, yeah, so he was one of those guys that took the line that not being able to say it as a white person or a black person is, like, arbitrary and doesn't make any sense. So he, right, he was, like, so he very was philosophical. Like black people shouldn't say it either. Black people shouldn't say it either, or everyone should be able to say it. He took that line. Oh, yeah. okay. And, so he was all nothing. and he was <laughs> he was trying to instill that line to a 50% black class that, that, that with... After an argument that had nothing to do with racism, it was just two people <laughs> arguing, and I, I wish I paid more attention. But I was like, I was, man, where's my fucking eraser? I was, I was just like zoning eraser. out, zoning out, doodling like, like a like Newgrounds your... tank or something in my sketchbook, <laughs> and then suddenly he's saying the N word, and I'm like, wait, this this is all sounding like this teacher was just incredibly jealous. He's just like, well, listen, guys, if you're gonna say it, then goddamn, and I should be able to say it too. That's what this is making it sound like. D that's. <laughs> You know, that's the, if you got right to the root of it, that's what he was saying. But like, pretty much, so that's weird exactly what he was saying. He was like a liberal creep. art teacher <laughs> in high school at a 50% like, I'm a young buck, class. I'm a liberal. Yeah. The, I just say really it, right, guys? To say <laughs> it. I'm on your side. I can oh, say it. Come on. <laughs> it's intention that matters. <laughs> it's intention yeah, exactly. that matters. It's either all okay or none of it's okay. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that, can't we? Right, guys? Wow. Everyone's like, no. All right, guys. Well, let's have a discussion. <laughs> Isn't this mythology class? All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna have a little talk. Fuck me, yeah, that's uh, the American school experience is different. I guess I really can't think of. I mean, I guess to start with, I can count the number of minorities on my hand on like right. one hand in my school because right. I was just from yeah. like a little village in England or whatever. But that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um. I always imagine British schools. There's this movie with Ma uh, Malcolm McDowell, and it, and he it's like called Thirty Nine or something. And I watched that at a pretty young age, and I remember thinking that's exactly what every British school is like. It's like it looks like a castle. Everyone has like boarding school uniforms on, and like at the end of it, he basically shoots up the entire school on like on top of the roof, like this Catholic school or something. Like oh, that, well, well, that's that's an American school. To start with. Oh, that is true. There's there's definitely a bit of like cultural blending going on in that film. Mm. I don't. I think there's been like done blame. I think that movie was, like was made the only in the one 60s. I can think of, and then they took all our guns. I think that movie was made in the sixties. I'm pretty sure. English school. I don't know how it compares to American school, but English school is just like if you ever want the best representation of like what English school is actually like, the in betweeners is probably like the closest thing I can think of. I liked that show. Too. It's funny, and, it's and the school looked awesome. What, what was awesome about it? Just it? looked way, it just looked way buildings. Just looked way better than they weren't even that dilapidated. They looked like nicer than my high school. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, it's weird. It's like a mix of like old and new, obviously, because with us schools are pretty fucking crazy old. Some of them, and but mine was just like a little fucking village school. I kind of like. I wish we had uniforms too. Why? I think that would have. I just kind of like the uniforms. I don't know. Fucking psychopath? What a, what a simplified high school. I well, think. then people can pick you out for the dweeb you wear. Exactly. My clothes if we you all wore the same clothes. You <laughs> accidentally wear your black Led Zeppelin shirt with your black jeans one day, and now you're goth forever, you know? It's a bummer. That's a good look. Well, if you go to a school and they call you goth for wearing a fucking black Led Zeppelin shirt, it's like, what? <laughs> like, I'd be like, you guys are fucking idiots to begin with. Like, if you showed up with, like, Marilyn Manson and Fishnet fucking, like... A fishnet like long sleeve underneath it, then yeah, I'd be like, yeah, Don's pretty goth. I'd be like, what the fuck is he doing? You know, we 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 went into this before though. Like, I did not have anything figured out at all until like the latter half of until high school. Until your and Lord college. and Savior Tom came into your life and Ex showed you some exactly, direction. Yeah, right, right around is is a mystery. Yeah, it's really a mystery. But uh, oh no, do you know what it did though? Having uniforms is it made um well a the uh, the girls in your year wore skirts, big plus. 
Nice. I guess they, they probably do that in America anyway. Every day. <laughs> But um, well, I mean, I think that uh, the big thing with America was, I mean, at least whenever I started, like actually, like giving a fuck about girls and stuff like that, was like leggings became popular very early on and shit, and that was very, I feel like, titillating. That was probably like the equivalent. <laughs> no, to a was skirt in our sense. what I was gonna say is like it put a lot of pressure on the the one day of the year you're allowed to wear your own clothes. When was that? I can't remember. There was just one day of the year where it was like own clothes day. I think that's literally uh, what it was called own clothes day. <clears throat> didn't you show up in a dress and all your friends didn't or something? They like. Jeez, how you. do you take stories I tell you and like pick elements <laughs> that would, and like right. remix it into right, a head I'm gonna, go out, of, never I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's a much more awesome version of what actually it, happened. It is. <laughs> okay. Basically, okay. this is this is so lame, but it was like the last day of primary school. So primary school is years one through to year six. So like okay. grade one or like reception before that doesn't matter. But anyway, you're like eleven, <clears throat> and it was the last day of primary school, and this kid called Philip, who's a prick. Mm -hmm. I, I liked him at the time, but now I don't like him. Um he basically rang up like everyone in our class, class of 30 kids, and he was like, do you know what? It's tomorrow's the last day. We should dress up in our own clothes and call the teachers by their first name, which was really punk rock for an 11-year-old yeah, in okay. England. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this is before, <laughs> that, you know, that was that's a lot like, of work, like too. This is before cell too. phones or Facebook. Yeah, they rang up the so house phone. to call everybody. His mum was in on it. Okay. I fucking like forwarded the daisy chain. I rang up like my people friends and I was like, hey, we're doing this thing. You want to be on it? I remember my friend saying, he was like, no, no one's going to do it. <laughs> like, if you do that, you will be the only one. I was like, nah, nah, Philip's cool, man. You don't get it. And so I hung up and lo and behold, the only fucking kid who had the balls to do it was, was me. And uh, Philip and everyone else was in their gay little uniforms. <clears> and then the fucking okay. teacher was like, you really took advantage of this day. You know, this was a nice day and you really took advantage of it. <laughs> and I'm there like tearing up like, <laughs> everyone else is never going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember after school. I'm a sheep. Yeah, after school, my oh, fucking sheep. mom was like, you know what you did today, Thomas? That was very brave. Not many people would do that. Hey. And she gave me some fucking money. She bought me some sweeties. And fuck Aww. yeah. Mrs. Hinchliffe. Ever since I've like been that. a fucking rebel without cause. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got that little formative piece of My brother, like, my, my brother had to bring in my fucking school uniform to change into during the <laughs> okay. latter half oh, of the no. day. <laughs> and he slipped a couple of quid in the bag. Nice so I could one. buy some oh, sweet. Nice. Yeah, my family had my back. That's Fair enough. That's pretty cool. Fuck that teacher, Miss Murphy. Yeah. She was a cunt. Yeah. God. I think that might be a good. Uh, I think that might be a good place to end on. Nice. All right. Cool. So let's have a more powerful ending than that, just for Justin's sake. <laughs> All right. Well, Hunter said that's a nice place to end on. And then, what do you want to say to that? Just something more definitive, so it's easier for Justin. Boom! That's oh right, Tom. That was wild, dude. Your family did have your back, guys. I think this has this been so a, great. This has been awesome. I think this has been a fucking awesome podcast, guys. And I think that uh, our viewers are going to be really inspired by it. And I hope you two guys have a great day. All right. All right. Peace, guys. Yeah, see you, pal. See you, everybody. <laughs>